What's one race you wouldn't be? I'm not into black women. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Why is this always the answer? I need to know this right now. So you think I'm ugly? No, that's not it. You're conventionally a very pretty girl. It's just a preference. I actually tried to kind of see a black girl for a little bit, but I literally, I just couldn't like get into it. Like, I mean, if a girl's half, it's different. But like a girl who's like fully black, I just, for some reason, it's just. So it's just like a preference of skin tone. So you don't like black people. Oh, I love wow. black people, but I'm just not attracted sexually to black women. Race. What's one race that Race's Statement. Definitely Caucasian men. Totally understand. So you don't like white people. You see, instead of him saying that, he said, I totally understand. Why couldn't you do that? I mean, listen, bro, from what I'm seeing right now, he just stated his preference and she stated her preference. But we all know and we can see it that she looks a little bit about her about what he said. He's like, how dare you say something like that? Men should not have a preference nowadays. Men should accept women as they are, as they come, because women are a package. Fellas, if you ever hear some bullshit like that from a woman, get away from her as soon as possible possible because women like that like to be in control and that's a huge red flag in a woman women that are control freaks tend to be aggressive combative and chaotic so stay away from women like that are you kidding me you didn't empty the dishwasher that's the one thing i asked you to do today we have two dishwashers are you referring to me as your dishwasher yeah you the other one babe hey babe 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 babe, babe. hey you also the laundry Jason. Really nice. I think he might finish this. And that's the time. Oh my goodness. Listen. You smell that shit? Her breath smelled like straight up shit. Go to a, a, a restaurant where a glass of wine is $20. You will find somebody worth your while because there's no street niggas going there for $20 a glass of wine. Yeah, the types of guy that she wants doesn't even want her. Those are some of the most professional players on this earth. Where'd you get that from? Nicole, I can buy your smile. Where you getting No, 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 where'd oh. you get that smile from? Um, my mom. Oh my God. What's oh, your name? Okay, so yeah. ah! uh, you're my first person I kissed on the lips. Really? Yes. So. Papi, yeah, es quiere lengua, verdad? No, yo quiero más de lengua, papi. ¿Qué quieres? No. Take him out to dinner first. Right. No sé qué pasó. Hola, Papi. I suck your thing. Are you gaming? What? Yeah. The lady is on Instagram and she got all naked pictures, right? Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to address her. Sexually, because she got all naked pictures? Wholeheartedly. No. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? I'm all I'm saying is, so are you what I'm going to say? Okay, so let me ask you this. If you go to a realtor's page and you see all houses, you're going to ask that nigga, do you sell cars? <laughs> Exactly, you're not. Bro. I mean, it seems to me like she's the only one with common sense on that podcast. If a woman is sexualizing herself on social media, she's looking for validation and attention. And I tell you all the time to stay away from those types of women. Don't get in a serious relationship with them. Practice your English. I say red, you say blue. Hi, can I help you? Blue. Change for a woman, and she'll change it for another man. You know what I'm saying? Stay woke in these streets, lad. Big brr. You was the fuck me, you giving me back shots, or you doing a missionary? Neither. Neither. Do you drink liquor? Nah, no. No, not really. Like, it depends, like, on occasion with, with my mama and shit. With your mama? So when you out doing hosts no, and shit, y'all? You know? no, 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 no. Okay, so do you do drugs? Mm -hmm. So you just a boring ass nigga? Yeah. I like a nigga that I can have fun with. What you, what you do? What you, what you be drinking a lot? What you mean have fun? No, I'm saying, you know, what do you, no, you what got, else, you what else? Drugs to have fun. No, you don't, you don't. So what else makes you happy, like? This generation will call you lame and boring if you don't do drugs or you don't drink. Because that's how they have fun these days. Bro, you can have fun without drinking, smoking, or doing drugs. And this man right here was raised right. And he sounds healthy in his mental state. Where should a man take you for a first date? What, what, You're the man. I want you to ask me on a date. Where are we yeah, gonna take I don't you? take women on dates. Why not? I take y'all to my car. 
Oh. That's fun, too. Let's go. Yeah, you down? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Cool. All right, bet. <laughs> See y'all later. Shit. I just want everybody to know that my wife is a bitch. A beautiful, intelligent, talented, caring human. You were way too close to the stairs to call me that word. I, but I told you what it means. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're all After true. After saying the and word the, itself and they're to all me, true. your wife. It's not a word. It's an acronym. I think that's an acronym, right? Yeah, it's an acronym. I know English. Do you? Boy, oh boy, you are risking it for it's the It's a compliment. Today. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. Take it. Walk away from the stairs. You gonna take it. Look, I know my worth, but sometimes I go on sale. <laughs> yeah, let me guess. Three ninety nine a month. That's the most contradiction, hilarious sentence that I've ever heard in my life. My lover. Are you eating fucking shit? Are you eating shit? So is this straight out your ass or some shit? This gotta be like straight out her ass into the bowl. What you mean you don't want this baby no more? Young lady, this baby didn't choose to be here. You gotta understand. When you lay down and open your legs to these little boys and bring this baby into this world, this becomes your responsibility. All your life, it's over. You gotta do this stuff for her. You just can't give her up for adoption and say you don't want her to vote. This is not how this life works, young lady. I'm your father. I'll help you out with the baby. But I'll be damned if you let this baby go and go give her up for adoption like that. You don't do that to your child. You gotta understand you can't have fun no more. You are adult now. Back in my day, when you had a baby at 16, 17, 15, you are adult now. So you gotta grow up. You just can't go out here and just say, oh, fuck, I give up. You can't give up on this baby. This baby didn't choose to be here. This baby didn't choose to be here. And if the little father don't help, I got you. I got you. But I told you when you first got pregnant, I said, but you had that baby. Ain't no going back. I got it. You sure? Yeah, I got it. Yo, I thought you was a lawyer. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. Are you ready? Yeah. Do not trust a man. Listen, my even my ex, he used to could just give me a credit card. And when we broke up, he took his credit card, everything. What if I did not have my career? Girl, you said a bunch of nothing. You're just yapping about nonsense. Independent and strong women. Zero brain cells. So, I told my girl to book our flights. Here she is in first class. Here I am going to the back. I told him booking for Mexico, man. Still going. 14, 15, excuse me, 20, 25. California. 27, 30, 32, 32F. Here we are. Thank you so much. At least it's a window seat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, I don't know who's gonna tell you that that is not your girl. She's for the street. Hey, babe, I shaved. You know what that means? Go and clog the shower drain again. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm gonna head up. Uh. Hey, I can't lose when I'm with you. I just can't snooze and miss the moment. Just too important. Nobody do body like you do. <laughs> Is that scissor? Scissor? Hell yeah, that's scissor. I couldn't think of nothing else to say to you. You fine as hell. What's your name? Thank you. I'm Lever. Lever? Nice. You said Lever? Lever. Lever? Oh, okay, then what you cooking in here? Some soul food. You got canned greens. This just ain't soul food. It's canned greens. Man, she used to let me cook for you sometime. You know I'm a chef. Food? Yeah. My name is Chef Hubert. They call me Chef Hubie, though. All right. Trying to get your phone number, though, so we can like, so I can cook for you sometime. I like to eat. That's family. You like to eat? Yeah. I can tell. Like, who eat? Okay, you cook it for one person? Okay, cool. You ain't got no man. Why are you single, ma'am? The dating world is crazy right now. The dating world is crazy right now. Men ain't shit. Men ain't well, shit. Men ain't shit. <laughs> and what are you? <laughs> huh? Shit. You're the shit. That's why it smells in here. It smells like shit. 
What makes a woman the shit? What makes a bad bitch? Moral values. So you never suck a dick the first night you met the dick? You never fucked the first night you met? You never had a one night stand? Shut your moral value dumb ass up, bitch. <laughs> See how bitches they talk, man? Talk. It's after they suck the dick, like, you know what? I'm no more. I'm a bad bitch now. <laughs> yes, uh, we got the pictures, values, bitch. Don't worry. Said. You see, women with that mentality are always single until they reach 35 or 40. Then they start wondering and asking where all the good men are. Yeah, when you reach that age, I think you should just start investing in cat food. <laughs>